<laughs> Did you tell me this was over? We are back at the gig to see my friend. If you don't know now, I know this. Hey, 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 sounds what they call me. That's a straight to a prince. Get off! VMA's VMA 1991. Let's go! For one of you, there's a lot going on in this video. I already seen so like it's a lot going on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that right now. Man. Now, hit the funny part, okay? First of all, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Uh, I feel like this is during Prince's uh, uh, ex experimentation, not experimentation, experimentation phase, <laughs> whatever he was going through. Uh, but I heard that Prince wasn't really into rap when it first came out. So this is very interesting that, you know, having a rap in this song uh, might have been a prerequisite. Like, you can't go on this stage until you have a rap because it's 1991. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. It's just, yeah, a lot going on right now. Point out that we can't hear uh, old, uh, uh, old, old, uh, old lady right there. Not old lady. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of uh, <laughs> I was thinking of uh, Living Single, Boss Lady. That was what I was trying to say, Boss Lady. We can't hear a Boss Lady or Prince microphone. It seems to be low, but yet the guy with the the handheld microphone mic it seems to be up. Just point that out. I don't know why. This is kind of interesting. But yeah, again, it is, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this performance right now. I ain't going to. <laughs> so before we can ever talk about today's generation, City Girls, Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Sexy Red, all them, before we can talk about all them, new generation, youngest, mill millennials, point them to this video. <laughs> Point to the Madonna because, son, uh, Prince is, that's, I'm like, I never understood where the whole Prince chaps 
thing came from because it's infamous for that, right? But I never actually saw him. I'm like, why do people always say that he like wore that, but I never seen him wear that till today. <laughs> so this is where that infamous butt cutout stuff come from. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Again, this is MTV. How did he get away? See now I want to know. See now I want to know how he got away with this, because I would I would highly doubt that they did all this in rehearsal and nobody said nothing. Like I am shocked right now. Like this is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Around this way, so I can work on that zipper thing. What? What is going on? Okay, hold on. See, now, okay, first of all, the song slapped, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Song slap. We ain't even getting into that. Uh, <laughs> again, this is MTV. 1991. Like, I want to know what was going on in MTV 1991. Like, they, they, they was able to get this off. Like, because I remember when the Grammys wouldn't even let, like, Fresh Prince and all them even go to the Grammys because it was hip-hop and they were trying to give them no respect. So I'm like, how was, how was, how was, able to get, how was Prince able to get this off right here? <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> The thing is, I like the song. I like this song. It just it's it's interesting to see him kind of fuse fuse his sound, but more like a hip hop sound. I don't think I've ever really heard that from from Prince. So that's very very intriguing, actually. I'm getting pissed. I'm getting pissed off now. Why are they not? Why is why is Princess and Boss Lady's mic not up? Like I feel like this is intentional. I don't care what nobody said. I cannot hear them. Like I'm dead <laughs> right now. Am I tripping right now? I feel like I cannot hear them. Like their vocal, like their mic is not like really on. I got. See now, I want to do. See now, I want to do research on this performance because they had it. It's had to be. Banned from TV, like never, they never was showed, or like he must got in so, some type of trouble or something. Like, there's no way they, he he was able to get this off scot free. Like, there's no there's no way. Ninety one, there's no way. Like, I know we got a little Nas X now today and everything, but ain't no way. In ninety one, he was able to get this off like this. Like, I see now I want to do research. Song is, is is cool though. Song is cool. It remind me of um when I saw. Michael Jackson do uh, uh, in a closet music video with Naomi Cammy out. Not, not yeah, Naomi Campbell. Campbell it had to be all like six or seven. I'm like, what? The fuck? <laughs> I didn't say what the fuck. But I'm like, yeah, what is going on? This is Michael. 
But yeah, I, but Prince has always had that type of steez anyway, yo. That's always been he's always been over sexual and everything. Like you go back to his earlier, earlier, earlier work. Um, yeah, it wasn't no purple rain like all duets and all. No, 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 no. Go back to his early work. Like this is this is this is on Prince. This is on Prince time. But I'm just shocked that he's able to do this on like actual live TV. If this was live, um, yeah. But this is crazy though. This is crazy though. He bold. Prince, you you say what you want about Prince. My G, he is bold. <laughs> So there's so many things I want to say. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where do we start? Okay. First of all, I'm like, I thank God for the end of this video. Uh, the the the. I feel like I wasn't really hearing the music. I was too off guard by everything going on on stage. But like the. But okay, okay. Um. In the whole the uh the screech that. It me of a uh, public, uh, public enemy, uh, like bring the noise, Chuck D. Like, okay, so again, it's weird for me to hear Prince because, again, watching a few documentaries, at first I heard that he didn't really care for hip hop like that. It wasn't until later on he started to like get it. But like to hear the hip hop influence in this song, a like, new jazz swing influence in this song, is very intriguing. Um, Interesting song, very sexual song, again, but that's Prince. Uh, that's why, to be honest, I did not grow up in a Prince household. Like it was, I grew up on a Michael Jackson household. We played Michael Jackson all day. I don't think I heard I heard a word or a song of Prince outside of maybe a door and diamonds and pearls. That's the only thing that was being played for Prince in this house, uh, uh, in my in this house, in my mama house. Um, that's the only thing that was going to be played. Uh, in my mama, uh, in my mom and daddy's house. Um, but yeah, first of all, the song once he started playing the guitar and everything, love that. Um, he said, "Peace, love, make love." I'm like, okay, okay, friends, I got you. Baby. I'm like, yo, what kind, what type of ecstasy was niggas on? <laughs> what type of ecstasy was brought us on since it was on on that stage, son? Like, yo, what was people on, bro? Um, 
I know in today's society is everything about sexual liberation and all that stuff. Again, we as much as I as much as I I, I don't complain. I just wish there was more of a balance in like female R and B, female hip hop. There seems to be no balance today. This is this is all female hip hop and R and B today. Like the the, the 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 artists that are are not being sexualized seem to not get no no uh no light. So that's that's the only thing that bothers me about it. Because at the end of the day, we had this. Like I said, we have we had stuff like this sexualization, all that stuff long time ago but we have balance like for every prince you had a stevie wonder or for every every uh madonna you had winnie houston like <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah just this event i really want to know the details of his performance because i know there's no way he did his performance and stuff didn't go haywire after like, there's no way and and also last thing I feel like this is the period where he started doing the whole slave thing. I might be off because I believe this is during the Diamonds and Pearls period. So is this during a time frame where he started doing the whole slave thing? So he started rebelling rebelling and started going crazy? Not going crazy, but he started like rebelling? I wanna know. So yeah, I gotta do some research on this. Cause this is this performance is insane. Not for a live show, but for a TV television music video show. Even for MTV, even for MTV, like the uh, worst Charlie Murphy he habitual line stuff. Like you felt whatever boundary there was, Prince found that motherfucker and stuck all the way over that bit. Like yo, whatever the boundary was, Prince found what it was and just completely just went all the way past that. But uh, yeah, that was Prince get off of uh, VMAs 1991 uh, live reaction. Like, comment, subscribe, shit, all the things, all the things. Ain't got like a whole. You got to get the hell up out of here. Peace.